Welcome to Learn Biology and today we'll be discussing the properties of water. Water surrounds three-fourths of our whole planet and simply nothing on this planet can live without it. It differentiates from any other known compound in chemistry and has so many properties that it is unbelievable. The first thing we need to know about water is that it is held together by hydrogen bonds. And what this means is that when we have a water molecule, here's a small diagram, it has a big oxygen which is negatively charged and we have two hydrogens connected to this making H2O which are both positively charged. they connect to another water molecule so what happens is the oxygen is attracted to the hydrogen call that positive and the oxygen is still on the other side So the bond in between right there is a hydrogen bond and this is possible because water is polar and what this means is that a water molecule is slightly charged. See the positive is attracted to the negative and the other positive is still attracted to the negative. So this side creates a negative, slight negative charge, this side creates a slight positive charge allowing it to connect to other water molecules. And this leads us right on to the first property we're going to uh, describe here, which is cohesion. So cohesion. Cohesion, by definition, is just an attraction between like substances which help the substance hold together. Water does this because, as mentioned earlier, it is polar. What it does is the individual water molecules stick together creating surface tension. Surface tension allows this little critter right here, the water strider, to walk on water. The pull between each water molecule allows the water strider to stay afloat without without sinking in. So once again cohesion is the reason that causes surface tension and surface tension is the reason why water doesn't move as individual molecules it moves as, a, as several water molecules at a time. So the next property we'll be discussing is, is going to be adhesion. Now adhesion is described as attraction of water to other molecules. In this example we see a glass with a straw in it. Simple enough, something we see every day. But what goes on in here is that even before we drink out of this straw, tiny water molecules attract to the inside of the straw and slowly go up the straw and actually make it easier for you to drink the water. So describing this in the image we would see we would see tiny little beads in here already attracting to each other through the co through cohesion and what they do is attract to the plastic and go up. What they do is actually they roll up. They just keep rolling up and as much as they can using the energy they contain. And this is called the capillary theory and this is extremely important and is asked on most tests and quizzes. Capillary theory is what describes this upward motion. Moving on to the next property of water, high specific heat. So what high specific heat does is prevents the water from rapidly heating up. Now this is extremely important 
because without it, aquatic animals would not be able to survive. The sudden change in temperature would immediately kill hundreds of fish. So, very, very important. So, this prevents water from rapidly heating up and allows the animals to steadily adjust to the temperature and this is called acclimation acclimation which is a very key term but some more information on specific heat is that it is its exact definition is amount of heat energy needed to increase the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree. The specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per one gram times degree one Celsius. So this says that it takes 4.184 units of energy to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree. Thank you for watching and we will be going over the remainder of the properties of water in the next lesson. See you next time.